welcome to Gapey's Aero Garden. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be switching out the nutrients in this. I have some Aero Garden Miracle Grow liquid plant food in there right now, um, but I'm going to be switching that out because this has a lot of ingredients that are mostly nitrates. So I'm going to go with this general organics system. So the first thing I need to do is empty out the water that's in there now. So I'm going to take this out. We need to get the, this unplugged here first. And that's for the, the pump. And then we're going to just take this out and dump it out in the sink that I have right next to me. All right, so we have that all emptied out. I'm not going to plug this in until we have some water back in here. You can see the add water light is blinking, so it, it senses that there's not enough water in there. So anytime you see that blinking, you need to add more water. So this reservoir holds a little bit more than a gallon of water, so I'm just going to use a gallon jug to fill with the nutrients. So these, this go box that I have from General Organics has about eight different nutrients. Yeah, eight different nutrients. And we don't need to use them all right now. So if we look on the back, there's actually a table that shows you what nutrients to use um, depending on which week you're on in the grow, grow cycle. And for the first week, it looks like we need to have the BioThrive Grow, the CalMag, BioRoot, and BioWeed. So those are the four that we're going to use today. So we'll get those out. There's the CalMag, BioRoot, BioWeed, and the BioThrive Grow. And all the measurements on the box are in milliliters, five milliliter um, increments. So five milliliters is about one teaspoon. So that's what I'll be using. So the first one we want is the BioThrive Grow. And we're going to shake this up before we put it in there. Okay. Alright, and we're going to do these in the order they are on the box. I'm going to rinse the spoon off between each addition. I'm also going to shake this up between each addition. Okay. Next one we need is the CalMeg. We need five milligrams of that. Shake it up. Okay. It's nice these tops have this little hole in the top where you can just punch it out so you don't have to open this whole, whole thing. Okay, so we need five milliliters of that. and rinse that off. Next we need the bio root. Shake that up. And this one we also need five milliliters. Oh, I think I forgot to shake that. It's 
do that. Okay. And then the last one is the BioWeed. And for that one, it says 2.525 milliliters. So we can just go ahead and put maybe a little bit less than a teaspoon in there. We got our rinse. Yeah. Shake that up. This one's green. All right. So that should do it. Let me give it one more, one more shake here. raise this light up a little bit so that we have more room. Good. So it doesn't quite fill to the to the top so we're going to add a little bit more. And I'm using well water. If you're using tap water you'll need to let it sit for about 24 hours to let the chlorine um, dissipate from your water because you don't want to use chlorinated water in your arrow garden. That should do it. Now we're going to put the plants back in the water. And the cord has a little notch in the back that it needs to sit on so we can put this on correctly. There we go. Okay, now we can plug back our pump. All right, and you'll see the add water light stop blinking. All right, so I think we're good. And we'll see how it does. We should start seeing some seeds germinating in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching, and I'll be posting another update soon.